Hello, and welcome to Beautiful Breakdowns, where we break down and then break it down. Today, we're going to be focusing on my song, Back in Love. And without further ado, let's get to it. I would have touched you, baby, if you wanted to be touched. I would have called you lately, but I know that I'm too much. I should have left you, baby. Should have left you when I knew I couldn't bring myself, couldn't bring myself to. about falling back in love with yourself, uh, which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's a really wonderful thing. Um, I think a lot of us go wrong uh, with the idea of searching for love or looking for love and this concept that we need to find that in, in someone else. Um, when in reality, Love is with us at all times, uh, and it really is in, in us. Um, we don't need to get it from, from someone else. Uh, that's not, it's not the idea. Um, the idea is to be able to share it. Um, so I think when you start actually putting that together, um, you actually end up attracting the kind of love that, that you need. Um, somebody who is going to share it with you. Um, and yeah, I look after you in the way that you need to be looked after. Uh, I had a big issue for a long time about, um, 
I didn't actually nurture a lot of self-love and I had uh, some really bad issues with bullying when I was younger. Um, when I was in school, it started in grade four. And yeah, I was bullied quite, quite badly um, over a plethora of, of things. Uh, and I never really understood completely why um, until my ADHD <laughs> diagnosis kind of put it together a little bit more. But I definitely danced to my own drum um, and I dressed the way that I wanted to, which was not fitting in. <laughs> and yeah, I was loud and I was you know, a little different and I was scatterbrained and I was an oversharer and all of these things. Um, and yeah, I got teased pretty, pretty heavily, uh, for it. And, you know, as that went on, I started feeling pretty awful about myself and, um, yeah, I used to write, uh, like hate speech about myself um, in my notebooks and and on my arms, um, and yeah, I felt a very very negatively um, about myself. Um, and yeah, I had teachers in school that also believed me for for my learning. Uh, difficulties um, and not paying attention in class uh, and I think just because I didn't didn't fit in and I struggled in a lot of different ways growing up um, I really felt deficient um, and that of course when you take that and start trying to have romantic relationships with people you run into a lot of issues. Uh, so you end up choosing very much the wrong partners for yourself because you feel like you don't deserve the kind of love that you actually deserve. Um, so you get attracted to more so people that are distant um, and often abusive, uh, which was definitely my experience um and progressively I kept getting better <laughs> so I started off really bad I was in a very very bad abusive relationship with a lot of mental health issues where I used to have to um when the person's episodes would come on um I'd have to run to the washroom and lock myself in the washroom as they slammed on the door. Um, and they never physically hit me, um, but they would take me and they would hold me extremely tight and they would shake me. And I blamed it all on mental health and I stuck around wanting to help them. Um, and I did finally get out of that relationship after, after a year. Um, but it was very traumatic. Uh, and then I had a series of, you know, many, many partners, um, that, just kind of used me, weren't actually um, interested in, in anything serious uh, whatsoever. Um, and then I got into more serious relationships uh, again, and always with people that couldn't give me the kind of love that I needed. Um, that couldn't give me the the affection. I'm, I'm very much a physical touch person, and uh, yeah, I need I need a lot of a lot of physical affection. And uh, I chose partners that um, 
couldn't couldn't be there uh, in in that way for me, um, at least not on the long term. Um, and I, I need a lot of communication, and that is another area where um, my a lot of my well, all of my partnerships, um, yeah. As, aside from you know the the last two two partners that um, I've been with, uh, yeah, that weren't weren't able to um, communicate their their feelings very very well. Um, and weren't able to express uh, their feelings in regards to me um, very well. Uh, which, of course, creates a lot of um, insecurity if you naturally uh, don't have a lot of love for yourself and you're always searching for, for someone else to make you feel good about yourself. Um, you're going to be let down always, <laughs> always, always, always. And you're going to end up staying in relationships where your needs aren't getting met for a long time. Um, because you don't want to be alone. Um, and the best thing that I've found certainly now is you have to face that alone time. And being by yourself, spending that, that time getting to know who you are and appreciating all of the little elements of yourself um, and starting to celebrate them is so, so important. And to be able to get into a relationship with somebody um, who also feels feels great about themselves too. Um, that's where the beauty, that's where the beauty happens. Uh, because hurt people hurt people. And that's what, what it comes down to. Um, so if you can start trying to heal some of those wounds, um, you're gonna stop hurting others. Uh, and that's really the goal, right? We don't want to hurt people. Um, so had a lot of big, big realizations after getting out of this this past relationship and spending a while, um, you know, dating a couple of different people and seeing seeing it what works after I'd spent the time with myself to really reflect and uh, nurture everything that's that's important to me. Um, so when you get into a longer relationship, you know that you are, you know what you deserve and you can fight for your love rights and uh, yeah, not, not give up the things that are really important to you. Um, know your boundaries, and uh, stick to them ferociously. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining me for episode seven of Beautiful Breakdowns. I can't believe it's already episode seven. And tune in next week for episode eight. <laughs> <laughs>